Simba whispered, we have to be quiet or the zoo will hear us, but it's too late. The zoo has been on the lookout for the young prince. Oh, there you are, Simba, the zoo said, learning from Simba. Come along, we have a busy day of training ahead of us. But Doll and I are about to go down the river, Simba complained. Nonsense, the zoo said. As a prince, you have certain responsibilities, you know, sire. We can't keep them waiting. Bye, Simba, Nala said. Have fun at prince school. Maybe we can go to the river alone. Not that Zazu has anything to say about it, Simba grumbled, watching as Nala bounded away. Zazu led Simba down to the water hole where the animals of the pride land were taking turns drinking water. <clears throat> per a ruler's responsibility is solving disputes between his subjects. Mm-hmm. Perfect example is a water hole. Each animal needs to have a turn to drink, Zazu explained. See that herd of antelopes? They've been here too long. It's the rhino's turn. You, you there, the bird said, yelling at the animals. Simba listened for what felt like hours as Zazu talked on and on to the antelopes. Finally, the lion king saw cub saw a chance to escape. A herd of giraffes was leaving the water hole. If he could sneak, sneak out with them, he might still have time to play with Nala. Just when Simba thought he had gotten away, the zoo landed in front of him. And where do you think you're going? Zazu demanded. Come on, Zazu. We've been the watering hole for hours. Can I go play with Nala? Simba asked. But Zazu refused to let him go. Prince's job is never done. He insisted onward to our next stop. Zazu led Simba back to Pride Rock, where Mufasa was listening to his subjects' concerns. A king must listen to all the other animals, Zazu explained. You can learn a lot from your father. Simba tried to pay attention. He listened as Mufasa advised the elephants to fly to Crazy Grove. He listened as his ear was worried about the upcoming rainy season, but soon the lion cub was just as bored as he had been at the water hole. He started to fall asleep. Yes. Young sires, as he yelled, angrily pecking Simba awake. Were you paying any attention at all? Simba yawned, shaking himself awake. He looked around. The other animals were gone. Mufasa must have finished for the day. Ugh, I can't sit here anymore. Okay, um, I heard some of it, Simba replied. Frustrated as you flew up in the air. Come along, Simba. We aren't finished yet, Zazu said. Simba slowly. Are you making a video of me? Mm hmm. Simba slowly follows the bird, led him away from Pride Rock. Soon they were walking past the river where Simba and Na planned to play that day. Simba looked for his friend, but he didn't see her. Suddenly, Simba had a yell. Did you hear that, Zazu? She asked. Hear what? Simba said. Zazu said. There's another yell. That, Simba said, running toward the river. Zazu flew after him. It was Nala. She had fallen to the past river. I couldn't get out. Where are you going? Go get my father, Simba ordered Zazu. The bird flew away in search of Mufasa, but Simba knew there wasn't time to wait. Nala needed him now. Simba looked everywhere for a way to get his best friend. Finally, he saw a long tree branch on the shore of the river. Nala, grab a long, Simba yelled. He grabbed the tree branch in his mouth and moved it over the river. Nala reached out and grabbed the branch just in time. Simba pulled the branch back and dragged it out of the river. She was safe. Simba, Simba, Mufasa called, running over. Here, Dad, Simba said, panting. It's okay, I got Nala. Relieved, Mufasa and Zazu gathered the cubs and started back to Pride Rock. Zazu, Nala, can you give me a moment with Simba? Mufasa asked. Simba was worried. What was, what was Mufasa angry? <sighs> oh, I forgot paying attention to Zazu. Zazu told me about your day. I know you want to play with your friend, but Zazu was trying to teach you important lessons about what it means to be a king, Mufasa said. <clears throat> what did you learn at the water hole? Mufasa asked. That rhinos follow the animals, Simba replied. Fossa laughed. No, that you have to be fair as a ruler and make sure all your subjects are treated equally, he said. And Zoo brought you to the Pride Rock to show you that a leader must be wise as well. The last of the last you taught yourself. I did it. Yes, my son. You asked me and showed her that a ruler must be brave. I'm very proud of you, Simba. Simba smiled up at his father. Now, the Fossa said, I think it may be just enough time for you and Nala to play before dinner. Simba smile and bound off to find Nala. I'll make a good king someday, sire, as Zazu said, landing up from across your shoulder. Across the smile. Yes, you will. Okay, bedtime.
Fuck.